Yes, hello, good evening, and welcome, Amusionist. Greetings, good to see you. How the devil are you? And we're live. <laughs> Time to do the thing. Yes, it is. done Twitch, we've done Discord, let's do Bookface as well. Bombay Sawadi, how are you doing? How's the stream? How's the audio? Is everything working okay for everyone? Shall I just do a uh, quick self-test? We get weird audio. We get weird audio. We Sounds get weird a little audio. Muffled. Sounds we get a weird muffled. audio. Oh, that's better. Right. Okay. What are we doing this evening? Well, first off, I need to get my dailies done. Yes, I do. I've just spoken to Warden Staines. There's a storm on Rubica. I'm not sure what's going to be going on in Shadowlands, but let's go find out. Sound is good. Glad to hear it. I worry it's a bit... Um, Base heavy, um, mainly because um, it usually is. <laughs> it's just a foible of having a chesty sort of voice like I've got. It gets a bit boomy, unfortunately, but there it is. And I'm guessing we're looking for a dojo first. Yes, we are. Nothing around here that's going to drop one. Yeah, daily's done, and then... Um, yes, obviously, your rich voice is a problem. Well, it kind of is for audio, because um, it eats up a lot of bandwidth, and in smaller rooms, believe it or not, bass is a bigger problem than larger rooms. <laughs> Over-deviation. Yeah, well... The trouble is, the room is basically, a, that I'm in, is more or less a cube. Which is absolutely the worst environment for audio. Um, but there we are. We have... First kill, Doja. We like this kind. You may live. <laughs> Easy way to do on a... Ba over deviation. Easy way to do on a base voice. Well, no, it's room reflection. E you need really good um, acoustic conditioning if you have a voice that's resonant at the same frequency the room is. And the room is resonant at 130 hertz. So, yeah. And that's the natural frequency of my voice or part of it so it's um yeah <laughs> i do worry about it sometimes oh yeah that's i'm nearly eight inches away from the microphone that's called the proximity effect now if I'm, this is me um just at the side of my mouth speaking as quietly as i can um and now I'm three inches away 
from the microphone. That's that's the proximity effect. What you're hearing is a little bit of the room as well, you see. Happens on any microphone if you're too close to it. Um, pretty much, anyway. There's, there's a couple of, like, if it's a cardioid, you get it. If it's super cardioid, you get it. However, if it's set to Omni, then it doesn't do it as much. It's just the physics of how the acoustics are actually working. You start getting a cancellation instead. So it actually reduces the proximity effect. <clears throat> Savik, welcome to the ASMR. <laughs> uh, welcome to the stream. Sky Cannon 1972, welcome, welcome in. How you doing, Heather? Toon Nicker 1971. Hey, folks, hey, welcome to the stream. We're making good progress. We've already, we did one kill and got a doja. How, how far did you get with the, the rest of Adonis? Have you done anything else? Or are you sort of pretty much where you left it? <laughs> you still at that point. We could, we could maybe try and help you out with that. I can't do the sided stuff though. Oh, you've done it with him. Brilliant. Brilliant. We could probably get the rest done and then you'd, you'd have a really decent brain for the shade. Your first one with any complet in it, believe it or not. Shades don't get any help with complet until that. <laughs> it's like, but why? You know. Yes. <clears throat> And we've got all the, everybody's favourite dailies today. We've got Enigma Dogs. Because everybody loves Enigma Dogs. Sorry about last night, Twitch wasn't cooperating. Don't worry about it, Sky Cannon, you're welcome here whenever you can make it. Uh, we should have the transcoding available. I've set the stream to variable bitrate with a higher maximum. As a little bit of an experiment, even though Twitch apparently don't like it when you do that. I'm just watching back now. Got it muted. Um, advanced video stats. Yeah. So it frees up a bit of bandwidth when nothing is actually happening, like right now. Nothing on the screen is really changing. But if I start running, then the bandwidth can go up and up and up and up. To deal with it. But if I do this, so there's a lot of things changing on the screen. Was that a video of the old engine or new, by the way? I was confused because you mentioned both. Oh, the DG Voodoo, that's the old engine. It was a how to actually install it correctly on the old engine, uh, the, you know, the vanilla steam, you know, the basic engine, the stable engine, <laughs> the high frame rate engine. Um, yeah, that was it running with that. And it gives you the benefit of then being able to use reshade with direct exit 11 anti-aliasing and, and whatever else which is obviously a little nicer than uh, trying to use FXAA, which is about the only one that works with the default client as is, unless you've got um, the old Sweet FX. Yeah, it was for the old engine. Um, it does, the, there is a DX9 um, file for the new engine, but it doesn't work very well. We tried it out and unfortunately, um, it literally reduces frame rate. It looked pretty good, but it's really not happy. <laughs> I think it's just the foibles of the the new engine is, even though it's a new engine, inverted commas, it's still a bit sketchy. Well, you are loading more textures and such. That is weird. I would imagine it's an I.O. issue. Yeah, if you've got A.O. installed on a mechanical drive, it will take longer to load. 
than, say, on an SSD. I've got it installed on SSDs everywhere. New in 2015, yeah, and the technology behind the new engine ain't exactly new. I mean, we're looking at it now. It's, it's DX9, you know. Let me guess, knight number two for Fatty, possibly. Yeah. Fatty could do all the bosses for him. Plus, with the added bonus of calming, which is going to make it a lot easier. Frequency, welcome to the stream. And Court, indeed, as well. Welcome to the stream. Obviously, talking to you there. Ryzen 9, 39X, 32 gigs of RAM. I have them on an MVM Dredge. There's that it should be going like lightning then. That's so much quicker than my system. I have an i7 3820 Sandy Bridge 4 core 8 thread CPU, but I am running on quad core. I've got DDR3 1600 memory, 32 gigs of it, and I'm on a regular SSD and I'm running on a GTX 980. So, yeah, we shouldn't have those issues. Not on a on a drive as fast as that. That's orders of magnitude faster than mine, I'd say. Yeah, a graphics card doesn't really impact on it unless you've got the graphics card in a in the wrong slot. Usually the, the slot you want to be using is the top one nearest the CPU, but... Have you gone through uh, tweaking the new engine for 2020? Have you gone through um, that video? That may, may help things, I don't know. It's an I.O. thing, though, apparently. One of the devs mentioned it in a chat at some point. They said, oh, yeah, load times relate to your I.O., is what he said. Which, to me, means your hard drive and the bridge it passes through to do it. It'd be interesting to see what load times are like when we get the PCI Express 4 and the way... Uh, the CPU and GPU can access uh, data an awful lot more directly and, and more quickly. Yeah, with a new engine, you've got shadows and, you know, uh, god rays, and I just like it. I like the grass, you know. I know it's petty and not much of a reason, but, you know. See, I get low textures for a split second after zoning. But that's about it. And I'm I'm not that overclocked at all. Um, the chip's default is uh, turbo is 3.8. I can set the multiplier to 43, though, with everything else stock, and it will go to 4.3 um, on mine. And that will give me slightly more frames per second, but it does run a hell of a lot hotter because it has to pull a lot more voltage to do it. So I just leave it at four gigabytes, uh, four gigahertz rather. Hey, you got a team. And a bit of a wait. Yeah, 100% stable at 4.3. There's a soft lock on the i7 processor range. Uh, you, if you go to, oh, I can't think of the site. It's like a, a bit of an overclockers type site. I can't remember which one. Um, but yeah, if I set my multiplier to 4.3, I, I get 4.3. But, you know, it's it's like 9% faster. Um, and it is stable, it seems to be, but it needs a lot more voltage to do it. And given the age of the system, I'd rather not push too much through. Otherwise, you know, you, the more voltage you push, push through silicon components, the quicker they, they wear down, basically. So running it at stock voltage at four gigahertz, for for you got to remember there's only four cores in this processor, and eight threads. So you know, if I turn off hyperthreading, I can I can nearly get five gig out of it. I've done that, but I'd rather have eight threads because you see the the motherboard I've got is the X 
79 motherboard and those are uh, quad channel memory Yeah, I have it. I have mine locked at at, um, as fa at that four gigahertz. Uh, how can I? I think I can show you. There's CPU ID. Now oh, there we go. I don't know, can you read that on the screen? Yeah, so there's mine, 3820 Sandy Bridge E. Uh, still on 32 nanometer. See, 1.24 volts. It'll go to 135 is, is its safe maximum. Um, <clears throat> but you can see there the multiplier. I've just got set at 40. It's perfectly fine with that. Uh, DDR3 in quad channel. So yeah, it always this always gives you the half value, doesn't it? I'm not going to benchmark it while streaming. That's just that's for people with two box systems, etc. <laughs> Smith. It's two oh three on my MA. Nice, that's not bad, that's not bad. You're getting there. 203 onwards, you start noticing how much, well, 205 and 207 are the two where I really notice how much more you're increasing skills with each level because you've got way more IP to spend and way more spend per level. Oh yeah, I can run, of course I can, MSI, after burner, because that actually shows up. Nice, there you go, you can see there, D39, you can see the load, hopefully, if I, oh, I don't need my mission window, on. can you see that, okay? So there's the GPU. That's just running at complete stock. So like 50 odd percent, but I am using the NVENC encoder on the card as well to, um, to stream. You can see there, there's like maybe one core gets pushed a little harder than the others, but it never gets much above 50. Even when I'm rendering out video for three hours, it, you know, and that's just with a Hyper 212 cooler on it. It's because I'm not pumping tons of voltage into it. It's absolutely rock solid stable at four gigahertz though. There's nothing worse than your system hanging after three hours of rendering. Because <laughs> you lose the video and you have to start the render again. Yeah, you probably got to hit it with uh, synthetic stuff to get it to go uh, 100%. Yours is a bottleneck. I'll, I'll have your uh, your 1080 Ti, did you say? That's, that's a generation and a half um, faster than mine. <laughs> Twelve core, it's a bottleneck, though. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose, but I mean, the current climate is um, 
you just can't buy a new graphics card at the moment for reasonable money. You know, everyone everyone's kind of stuck with that. There's so many out people out there scalping, etc., etc. It's it's going to be a while before people can get it. Maybe when they release the 4080, you can get that. You know. Yeah, 1080 Ti would be about the limit of what I would add to the system before thinking, you know what, what it, this really needs is a new board chip and memory. Really. <laughs> For that's pie in the sky. I know someone who can get me a th new 3080, but it has to be shipped overseas, plus a ton of money with shipping. Is all yeah, this is it, isn't it? Yep, with live. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't have the money for a card at, at MSRP, let alone scalper prices, so forget it. I'd like, I mean, the, the thing is, for Anarchy Online, a 980 is perfectly fine. I mean, look, I'm only using 52% right now. I noticed it when I was trying to play things like um, Cyberpunk and, and whatnot, and it does struggle a little bit with... Um, Skyrim SE when I push the graphics settings a little t too hard but the 980 does keep me in the you know it's amazing how much legs that it's ended up having you know yeah well this is the new engine you can see you've got accurate shadows god rays and stuff reflections Yay! Should have done that. Give everyone big HP. Half the time I just worry about getting smacked hard. <laughs> okay. Frequency. I started a shade and I am loving the challenge. Nice. Feel like I'm new again. Yeah, you've got to, the way the whole um, the, the spirits and everything else. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do. In, I enjoy building the shade. It gets a bit more complicated with um, alphas and such, but don't worry about that. The other other side of it is you always have quite a bit of um, IP to spare because you don't need a single point in treatment, and you can be swapping out your gridding. Now it's showing off the new nano. Oh yeah, yeah, like a numpty. It's. it's I was there going well. Where is it then? Because <laughs> the, you know, you've got mail icon didn't come up in the corner for some reason. And I thought, well, it's not in GMI. Surely when you, however you buy it, it goes directly to your mailbox. So I went and checked the mailbox and, oh yeah, then the icon came up when I opened the, the mailbox. It was weird. Yeah, it, it's like I don't know if things are being sent to me, and I, which makes you kind of paranoid because uh, what have you got? Forty-eight hours on a email or something like.
Yeah, it's a mission reward. Uh, I, try, I tried. I, I was trying to roll it for like hours. I'm just getting nowhere. Right, Enigma Dogs. So we'll get this daily done and then take a look at, um, yeah, we'll, we'll get this done and then maybe see if we can't get you a bit further through the quest, Amusionist. Should have time to get it finished tonight, I think. Uh, bliss, I want. Broken Shores. Pray to the graphics engine gods that we don't crash. No, we're still here. I prefer the colour of water in Broken Shores to everywhere else, possibly. Certainly better than the one in Tyr. The nice thing with having Reshade, though, to play with is you can do it on the fly because it's... Um, it's sat on top, and you can then use it in um, with the old engine as well. So you can add SMAA, you can add color filters, you can you know play around to your heart's delight. Yeah, I think I know where I'm going without the mission marker. Someone did someone walk one all the way back here. One of the little Enigma dogs. I haven't got the doohickey for it, so... Can't really be doing it. Yeah, I've decided I like fog on. Because some of the far distance looks awful. Um, so leaving fog on looks slightly better. Looks a little more believable as well. A little more atmospheric. I mean, we are pretty fast in Yalm now, nearly 3k, so we're over the soft cap. Yeah, so you've done that bit. Uh, does he send... You should be at the part where he... Have you done the killing the mob inside the um, mission entrance? Did you do that bit with Sav as well? Or just kill the sided mob so far? You did that as well. So now we need... The shards, which you just hand in directly. The mock Barton thing, is it? I can't remember. I know where it is I'll, anyway. Yeah, mock Bar Baraton. Yeah, we'll get all that done. Once that's done, you've got the bits you need two stages later. Those were the things we collected from underwater. Yeah, the shards are done. Sky cannon. Rip FPS. Well, it's still about 40s. Why oh, has it gone a bit wonky on the stream? It shouldn't have. It should be okay. Where the hell am I going? Just looking at chat and not looking where I was going. <laughs> Are you unlocking all the emotes? Nearly flew off the edge of the map. Twitch no longer maintains a stable resolution since a few months. 
keeps going down even when I manually set it at 1080p. Oh. Is it with my streams or just generally? With everyone. I think it's a browser issue. Because it doesn't do it for me. Which browser are you using, Sav? I wouldn't have thought so, but try... Have you got Chrome? Just try it on Chrome. Yeah. I used to use Firefox almost exclusively, but then uh, YouTube started doing 60 FPS videos and Firefox really did have problems with them at first. Then they updated Firefox um, and it was fine. But I'd already kind of got used to the way Chrome works, even though I think Chrome is a right bloaty uh, system. It's because it's all tied into Google. It does make life a bit easier, I suppose. But yeah, Firefox, I was a big fan of that. Yeah, I mean, I can force the stream up to 1440, um, but then it doesn't give you the 1080 option. Chrome is better than whatever. The, oh, the edge thing. Yeah. What level is it? Shall we? Oops. Yeah, go on then. Why not kill a diner while we're here? I think this one gets killed a great deal simply because it's on the flight path for this daily mission. Soup can and a string is better than edge. It's not that bad. Ballad of the Pistol Aero need Mosquito Armor. I remember them being a thing. Right slice. I'll leave all that. Someone else can have it. I don't think Edge is that bad. I just don't want Microsoft being any more nosy than they already are. Have a ball. Yeah, the Edge has tried to sort of copy Chrome as much as it can. But, you know, no one uses Bing Search unless they're looking for images. Because Bing Image Search is actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good at anything else, but it's pretty good at that. Chrome, I got a custom theme for it. And the borders are black instead of, I think. Oh, yeah, dot mode, all the things, definitely. No Enigma dog for me today. Yeah, dot mode just saves. Your eyes save wear and tear on your monitor. You don't need everything to be a white... I mean, the way to think of it, you know, in my mind, is the first computers I used were uh, CRT green only, you know, uh, green text or what have you, or whatever um, type image. So I've always felt like the white sheet of paper kind of look was more of a theme than an original computer was. You know, when, when we did Aelian Isolation, I was on the Sevastopol or whatever, all the computer terminals, that, that's what I grew up with, was computer terminals look like that. Um, so I always feel like dark theme is more 
how a computer should look and when it's um, when it's white that's more of a theme than than dark is and the dark should be the default if that makes sense in my own mind it does Sky Cannon, back with coffee and more donuts. Yum yum. Yes, you've got to have, you've got to have those. <clears throat> yeah, a fairly busy day today. Oh, it rooted me. Doesn't any of these get rid of snares? Nope. Luckily, I got some of these today. Yeah, we just you can dark theme all the things. I think Linus Tech Tips did a video. I think it's Anthony. I love Anthony's voice. He's got a great voice. And he's very, very um, knowledgeable about his subject matter. Way more than, than any of the other guys on the show. Um, yeah, how to dark mode absolutely everything on your computer, and I kind of like it that way. T to me, to me, that feels correct. Like it, 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 because I'm going back to the old Commodore PET <laughs> computers and things like that. You know. Where, unless it was, you know, telling you something with a. Um, you know, a character on screen, then it was black, you know. Because it just wasn't illuminated. I dark mode my face ache. I do, yeah. Book face, dark mode. YouTube, dark mode. Forums, dark mode, you know. When you start a Adobe Premiere to edit video, it's in dark mode. All the greys are neutral grey, so it doesn't affect your colour vision. For the very, for that very reason that you want your colour vision to be unaffected, so you can make, um, <laughs> you can judge colour grading more accurately, you know. Yeah, I uh, should be able to do it. So, I'm going to show you Premiere Pro. There you go. There you go. That's how it starts off. Looks like that. Hi all, and welcome to the video. In this one, it's a DG Voodoo 2 tutorial. <laughs> yeah, if you stare, well, you know, if you've been sunbathing with no sunglasses on for 20 minutes, half an hour, you open your eyes, everything looks blue. You know, in that sense, So when you're looking at this, all the borders are neutral grey. Well, yeah, I mean, the thing is, we should all do it. Just because you don't get a migraine doesn't mean it isn't actually having a negative effect on you. Your reaction to the negative effect of an overbright screen constantly or blue light is going to be a migraine. For me, I, I don't get a migraine Sometimes I'll get like a tension headache. You know, it goes up from the back of your neck and over the top sort of side of your head. It's muscular, I think. Um, I, I got it when I first got this monitor and I thought it was something with the monitor. What it actually turned out was I had the monitor 
the stand this monitor has is much higher than the one on my old monitor so the stand it was on was set too high for it so i lowered it down like six inches um yep and it's fine now i realized i was tilting my head back to to look at the center of the screen without even realizing uh, <laughs> blue light filter there's one built in on uh, this monitor the blue light you can you can adjust it to your heart's content it'll do um adobe srgb real rgb 10-bit color so at the moment I'm playing in 10-bit colour and it looks glorious. Really can see a lot of differences in textures and shades, which you probably can't see on the stream because it's a stream, so it's compressed. Yeah, the one in monitor one makes the colour go off. Yeah, yeah. Um but yeah, this is a. I mean, it's not an expensive monitor at all. Um, it's got IPS. Which immediately just gives you much better colour reproduction anyway. I think it's, it's not like, um, you know, super duper colour graded. I, I, I've constantly got, I've only got to turn my head, you know, to my shoulder and I can look out across all the houses nearby up onto the top of a hill and make my eyes focus on some power lines at the very top. You know, not the massive power lines, the little small ones. Um, and I'm, as long as I can focus on that every 20 minutes or so, it's fine. So at night is, what the hell did I manage there? That was clever. Okay, <laughs> don't quite know what I did there, but there you go. Um, Twenty-seven and a half, one forty-four gigabyte monitor. Got three total, all different though. Yeah. Waiting for Starkness to bring up the Netherlands. Yeah, I think my vision, my long vision is um, 2060 or something, or whichever way around it is. Like I can see at, tw at, at 60 meters, I can see what most people see at 20 meters or something. So yeah, it's it's pretty good. We are just in time for Tara. And I need a wee, so while I'm casting this nano, let's see if I can dash off wee, wash my hands and get back. <laughs> Dang, I have to use a magnifier program to see the playfield map. Have you not got Savic's larger map? The double size one? Because that's really good. Okay, let's go get the quick mission.
Oh, this one. I'm okay. I mean, I can I can see most of the details on it, but it was never designed to be. The game was, you know, the GUI was designed to just about fit when we were playing at what 11, 24 by 768 or something like that. And at that resolution, it's fine. <laughs> On that, I can never tell which way I'm facing. Oh, I could, you're a little yellow arrow. Um, don't forget, it's the same size scale for me as it is for you, and I'm playing at 1440p. Yeah, it's my near vision that's starting to go. That used to be excellent as well, but not so much anymore starting to, you know, the the contents or <laughs> the uh, cooking instructions on the back of the uh, jars is starting to get harder and harder to deal with. It's not so bad in bright light, but that's the pinhole camera effect with your irises. But in low light, yeah, my near focus is not good. <laughs> Which is why a bigger monitor further away is easier to deal with for me. And this is... What did we actually measure to? Was it 32 inch? Yeah, it says 31 and a half, but when I actually measure it, corner to corner, and the bezels are absolutely tiny on this thing. I mean, they're almost not there. Um, then it's 32. But I am sat like a metre and a half from it. Which is just enough to make pixels invisible. But if I lean... Uh, about a foot forward, I can see them again. So I'd prefer, I, I prefer it when you can't really see them. <laughs> That's what the whole retina uh, screens were about. All they did was just make the pixels so small that at a given distance you couldn't see them. But I usually can. I mean, the little dots are actually um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, ten little squares. You know, so you've got two, then a line of um, three, it looks like, and then another three under it, and then another line of two. Yay! Twenty-three k tokens, uh, veteran points. Sky Cannon. I'll be back in an hour's time to watch my program. Where they blow shizzle up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds like a fun program. And let's hand in these two dailies as well. Oh, yes. It shall be done. Um, what's that YouTube channel? Beyond the Press. They they do a lot of um, what happens if <laughs> you, blow, you try and, you know, it's all pretty crazy Finnish sort of behaviour, actually. Can we make an, um, oh, can we make a sauna out of ice? <laughs> it was one episode. <laughs> and they did it in the middle of a lake, a frozen lake. You have completed your research on Toxicology 7. Yay! Getting ever closer. Scrap Kings. Yeah, I think I've heard of that. Yeah. We're getting there bit by bit. Yes, we are. Right. So, Amusionist, you're up to go and talk to the guy. 
Is it? Is that what you're up to? What mission do you have? Is the question. I think I left fatty boars in the gut in Adonis, actually. So, we'll, we're going to log into him uh, and then take a look at where you're up to. Oh, yeah, I was saying I had a busy day. Father-in-law's um, skip arrived, having a big old clear out. Um, and of course, he struggles with heavy stuff now. You know, he's he's been, he's, you know, he's he's had emphysema, then he had a collapsed lung, and and his back's starting to go. And you know, he's he's just getting old, guy. He's just getting old. Um, you know, so I said, no, no, I'll come and do it all. Still thinking I'm as fit and strong as I was ten years ago. God, carrying down their old twenty-six inch CRT. <laughs> oh my God, that way to turn. Destroy a mock. Okay. Where are you physically at? You're in the garden. Okay, where's your nearest... You want to exit because you need to hand the mission into him, don't you? Hey, fatty, my favourite Trox crap. Um, he is I'm trying to think where the dude is. Isn't he near the? Where's the ruins? So it'd be easy to find him this way. Yeah, so you want to get to Scott Free, who's over there. Yeah, he's at the top of this road, I think. Oh, no. So wherever your nearest garden exit is for the city north for you, is it? Right, um, hang on. I'll, come, I'll meet you there. I've come out of the wrong exit, really. I, I should have taken the clan city south, really. the big stairs. Is that a little dark on stream for you guys? City South I think is nearest to him. For you. Looks okay to Savic. Okay. Because the guy we need to talk to just up the hill from Dark Ruins. Yeah, he doesn't need to be anywhere near the Amok Barton though, does he? Doesn't have to even tab it. <laughs> I just need him near, near where he's going to go and hand it in. So we need to get him up the hill. So actually, if you take City South, should I just go back and exit City South? You, um, yeah. 
just so I can team you. Once, once you're in team, I can just run off, kill the Amok Barton, while you're stood right in front of the NPC. But there's a lot of crap to run past to get there. So, hence the crap. There you are. Yeah, if you were in team range, you wouldn't even need to do that. Right, let's get you to Scott Free. There we go. Because there's a lot of mobs around here that will probably squish you. <laughs> when you get up to where Scott Free is, there's also like um, 50 squillion soul dredge things. Which is why Fatty's probably the best idea for coming up this hill. Yeah, these buggers. Oh, spirit hunters. There you go. Right, so he, he, you're going to be okay from that one for nearly eight minutes. While well, I dash off and go kill the Amok Barton, and then you're immediately able to hand it into him, you see. much quicker than because I can just beacon back to the garden and come out wherever I want you'll see that there is a method to my madness oh someone else has been down here calming wasn't me because you're you've already done have you handed the shards into him Support working call after six. Meh. What? Oh, a support work. God, it took six months to catch up with you. Dear me. That sounds pretty bad. Must be way overloaded if they're taking that long. I mean, no one becomes a support worker because they don't care about people. That I find hard to believe. It's, it's kind of a vocational thing, so it's got to be they're just massively overloaded when it takes that damn long. Or horrendously badly organised. It's a management's to blame kind of deal, you know? He finishes work at six. Oh, somebody's phoned them. It's 
So she finishes work at six and phoned you anyway, or it's your friend, is it? I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. There's like a gazillion ways to interpret that sentence. <laughs> so, just, uh. Isn't lang language wonderful? We think we're being direct and, and it turns out, no, <laughs> not really. Alright, he should be around here somewhere, but I don't see him, so you may be hanging around there a little longer. A musionist, but we will uh, we'll wait and see. A friend of yours. Oh, there he is. He's moving around. Okay. You should have got your update. Amusionist, did you get your update? Turned it in. Cool. Right, he should ask you to go to um, the next NPC along, which uh, you're going to need a bit of help to get to. Fatty, can I have a wave, please? <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> Fatty's waving. Yeah, Dr. Ask Alexander or whatever, yeah. Yeah, now, getting down to that dock is a bit without... I mean, if you've got a lot of run speed... <clears throat> should I walk to garden? No. No, 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 no. He's just over the hill. And there is no garden exit any closer than where we are now, anyway. Yeah, it's very dangerous to get there because there's like a gazillion of these mobs. So where are you? Yeah, it's not enough. We need like 2k run speed to outrun the mobs here. Where are you? Okay, stay very close to me. Actually, stay exactly where you are. Wait there. Awkward sod. Oh, really? Really? He's not calm. Is he not calmable? Die. No, you don't. I see you. I see you. Oh, you awkward stop. There's always one left with these bloody things. Alright, follow. Then we 
got enough of them. If you're trying to do this solo, run to here and jump. And you usually you'll outrun them. But yeah. AO crush. <laughs> Right, talk to this guy. Got an AO crush on Fatty, yeah. Now he should give you an other one. Clear the dig site, right? Stay by him. Seriously, stay by him. <laughs> Don't come down here. At your level, this would not be fun. As you come down and go, oh, he's only level 190, I can manage him. And he'll usually root you. And then you go, oh, now he's level 200, he's respawned. Yeah. And this guy would be a lot more trouble for you. And then... This guy shows up. This guy is 210. Uh, very hard to kill at under 160. Not that he actually drops anything. We've been quick enough that we've missed the uh, the massive spawn. <laughs> that should have updated three times. My pet is snared. I don't think I've got any free movements. I haven't. Can I clear him with... Nope. Didn't clear... Oh, it did clear it. There you go. Right, that should be you handing in your mission. Not sure, I think he sends you... Yeah, now we get the scuba gear hand in. So we got a lot of running to do to get to this guy. And we got a bubbling, we got a bling. Sky Cannon has hosted you with one viewers. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, there's no real quick way there. Um, or is there? Is there a slightly quicker way? Uh, no, not really. Go on. We're just going to run it. Yeah, you've got the parts you looted yesterday from the kind of green jellyfish guys, yeah? Yeah, he's going to ask for those. 
Or he gets you to kill five sizzling snapsids. Soto Mahoney, welcome to the stream. It's the spy from Omni 3. <laughs> it's trousers. You probably recognise this little area we're going through now because we did it before. And the little jump over the ravine. Oh, hang on, my pets are trying to run a hundred miles the long way around. Let me just double check on the quest guide. Uh, first time in kill five sizzling snapsids. They would eat you alive, I'm afraid. They're pretty tough buggers, those. Um, so, not to worry. I'm just trying to lead you along without dragging you into mobs unnecessarily. Frequency. Just got both my Fear Forged Blade solo on a Gimp Shade at 45. Fight wasn't hard. Nice. Nice going, dude. They're really good weapons, you know, for quite a few levels, those. It's surprising how long you, you, you can manage with those before you need anything else. Plus, they buff the uh, piercing stat as well. They're shredding already. This is awesome. Yeah, which perk lines are you, have you put into? Hopefully you're going to tell me totemic rights. It's your absolute... Of all the perk lines you have, then, yeah. Yeah, totemic rights... Near, as you get further along does massive amounts of damage right we're going to go for an ickle swim because you move the same speed on water as you do on land apparently So they tell me. I don't know if I believe them. Yeah, shades are with the right gear. Shades are pretty bloody in, you know. My phone auto corrected the word selfied, but I'm going to pretend I was being cheeky. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I knew I knew what you meant. Selfied them. I'm guessing selfie and selfied have been entered into the dictionary, or at least an urban dictionary, as they call it. Okay, follow me. Well, 
is that? Jerry83 has followed. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. We are helping the lobby out with the Adonis quest. I am on my 220 crat, so. <laughs> oh, did I give you the map? I don't know. You should probably still have it running from last time, but there you go, just in case. Don't worry about him, it's a survey dog, so it shouldn't attack. Ah, the Adonis music. I always loved it. Trying to think, are the sizzling snapsids down at this end? Or not, I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. I usually do it from far over the other end. We want to try and save a little bit of time. Alright, you talk to this dude, Mr. Marco Stephen Stephensen. While you do, stay up here. I'm going to just quickly go down and I, I know they're near the uh, Lament Lagoon entrances, but let's... Oh, you're up there hiding, are you? Aha! Uh -huh. Sizzling snaps it's here. I don't think there are, you know. No, we're gonna have to go all the way back to do the first stage. Yeah, never mind. It's okay. We can use the beacons. That will save quite a bit of time, but we will have to run back here afterward. Right, is he giving you kill five snapsids? Is that the mission you've now got, yeah? Yeah, okay. So, beacon back to the garden. I will meet you at... Well, let me get to Adonis first. Ends Lyric, welcome to the stream. I told you we were in that video. <laughs> I think you were on your trader looking at the bank as I ran in. Oh, it's there, isn't it? And I think it's going to be the same again. Zoom out a second. We want to go to Lament Lagoon. And the one I know is really easy to get to but um don't go out of any just yet there's an omni isn't there like a that's the clan lament lagoon but there's a... isn't there a there's the omni one near that bridge yeah but it's all the way over there isn't it it's miles away underwater yeah, don't go to... I'm going to go to your Lament Lagoon, yeah? But don't exit yet because there is... Um, that's the portal to, into the water, isn't it? Um, yeah, don't go there yet, though, because as soon as you zone out, you're probably going to find there's a lot of um, nasty stuff waiting for you. Um, yeah, City South, I think. Mm. 
but there's sizzling snapsids near it. They're right by the clan one. Really easy to get them there. And I'm going to run to the Omni... Well, it's not the Omni exit, but the, you know, the portal to get in under the meta water. So you are going to need your scuba gear equipped. You just saw me run past you. <laughs> are you still on this quest? Because we're, we're on sizzling snapsids at this point. So if you're up to that point, we, you, you're welcome to join. But I'm not doubling back on um, bits I've already done. You're on that bit, are you? Right, okay. You've got the quest, kill five sizzling snapsids. Is that is that the one you've got? Mr. Free is before we've just done Mr. Free. So I'll help you another time. But I don't want to go back and do the same thing twice, if you know what I mean. Because we just done the Amok bot and then the shards and the <laughs> and the temple ruins, so yeah. It's three stages ahead. Yeah, if you farmed the shards and stuff, it should be pretty quick. But you're not going to be able to solo the temple ruins, I don't think. Not on that level character. Okay, where are we now? So we got to run all the way to over there. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Dear me. Apologies to the chat and the stream. Coughing and spluttering all over you. Because I'm already running over the same pieces of ground that I was running over before. Yes, unfortunately. Everything's really grainy. You need... Ansotropic filtering and some form of anti-aliasing then. That's why it looks grainy. You can, if you, now you've installed that, install uh, reshade as well. Reshade, uh, just Two seconds, I'll, f I'll find it for you. Now you know I googled reshade and the top answer is their website. There you go. Reshade and just download the installer. Right down at the bottom, download reshade. Well, it says there 4.9.1, should be fine. Um, it's right at the very bottom of the page. It's one of those sites with loads of download now links all over it, but the one you want is right at the very bottom. Then um, the install is actually really easy. You just run the program. Br use the browse feature to find anarchyonline.exe is the actual file you want. Yeah, these guys are down here. Disgusting parasite. No, 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 no. I keep forgetting to do that. Put your pets back on follow. Like every single zone. <laughs> All right, zoom in again. And it should show me Lament Lagoon. We're on the other side now.
It should be somewhere around here, your portal. <clears throat> right, there you go. You can come out now, you'll be safe. Yeah, all I've got on mine is just SMAA, and it's pretty much set to default. You can always tweak it a little bit. Um, this is set on D3D, but obviously if you're using Reshade, do the install for... Oh, God. Um, DX 10, 11, 12. We're on the uh, install option. Right, Amusionist. Stay close. We need to find some sizzling snapsids. Do you know where they are on the Omni side of things, Sav? I know where they are on the clan sort of side. Sizzling Snapsid, that's one, isn't it? Don't aggro the sharks. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't aggro the sharks. Install all of them if you want. It downloads them and installs them for you. Standard effects generally is enough. I've got quite a few more. Like all the Quint ones are really, really good. Uh, that one you have to manually download and add yourself, etc. But yeah, that's the basic standard effects there, plus the Quint ones. Yeah, Bionic Menace, never ever aggro it. <laughs> it just keeps respawning forever and ever. Yeah, you can you can download as many as you like, really. Um, <clears throat> the thing is, you probably end up only using one or two of them. But it's fun to experiment. Oh, actually. Isn't there... Don't jump off again. There's none down there. I mean, the first time I installed it, I went, give me all the effects, and sort of went through all of them messing about, you know? But you don't need to. But by all means, you know, get all of them because why not? <laughs> I should have done this from the clan side, it's way better. Yeah, and it, make sure it's Anarchy Online EXE, not Anarchy. That's the launcher. I'm part of the client, but it's not the actual thing. Um, where the hell am I going? Well, I want, yeah, anarchyonline.exe is the executable you point reshade at. That's the actual game client. That's the uh, the game itself. Yeah, kind of. I don't want to jump down there because there's like a bazillion of those. Damn it. Where's this? That's the other bridge though, isn't it? Doesn't that bridge go the other way? I'm just trying to get to where I know sizzling snapsids are. So far we found one on this side. It's rubbish. There's like a gazillion of them on the other side. Hmm. 
might be one reason why everything's set to launch you. Yeah. No, this goes down to the temple. What the? Oh, God, I hate underwater Adonis. It's annoyingly overly complex and pointless. Where do you want to go? I want to go in this direction. Ha 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 ha. Well, you can't walk around this blurry maze. No, no. If you use DG Voodoo, you can then use Reshade as well. Which gets rid of the jaggies and um, all the sort of line noise. Oh my god, they make this stupidly hard to just navigate around. I just want to go east, but I can't go east. <laughs> Yeah, the engine, the engine I'm on now, this is the new engine, believe it or not. I'm looking for sizzling snapsids. This would be easier if there was like a, an, I'd just gone, you know what, just come to the clan side and we'll do it from there. Can we get up here? We should be able to get up here. Oh, awkward bloody thing. Any? There's like none. How did Omni put up with all this rubbish? <laughs> I almost jumped into um, dry land. You know what? Screw this. Right. Use your beacon again. Go back to the garden and meet me at City North. I think it is. It, or is it City South for you? <sighs> now this this engine is the new one which is why you've got uh, long grass with physics and accurate shadows god rays all that kind of pretty stuff What is the home button for the shader thing? Home button. It says home on it. It's usually in between the normal keys and your number pad. Let me just have a look. Um, we're going to go via Lament Lagoon, but the, the clan version, which is useful. Um, yeah, exit city south, yeah? And we'll run the rest of the way. <laughs> and use the exit we used last time to go uh, get the drops for him. Given where he's standing, you'd think they'd put sizzling snapsids down there. But no. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot my keyboard had one. This happens. Emma No. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Some noisy bugger outside with a car horn. Right. Follow me. Nothing aggroing. Okay. Yeah, the default is the home key. You know. Because reasons, I suppose. I didn't want to assign it to a number pad key. Because they're all locked in uh, Anarchy Online, unfortunately. Okay, we're going to make it to the other side of the bridge and then cut across. Deary me. Right, my pet has gone for a burden.
have you got sharpening turned on in the NVIDIA control panel? Oh God. It's possible, yeah. We can look at it, that in a minute. We'll get this stage done, then I'll log in on the old client. You can see exactly what settings I'm using. Yeah, the was it the twinking the new engine f for 2020? Because that's what I've got set still. And that actually affects the new and old client. Whatever you put in there, the NVIDIA control panel doesn't distinguish between the two because they're both the same name. Uh, it's got a picture of my keeper on it and it says um, tweaking the new engine for 2020 is and it's like it's quite a newish one made it last year the other one I think is from 2015 So if you're trying to use the one from 2015, then you're inputting FXAA and all the rest of it, uh, which you don't want to do if you're doing um, DG Voodoo. Right, scuba gear on. Do they unfollow every time you zone? I always annoyed me about pet classes. Why do pets change their state? Yeah, you want to follow. Oh, hang on. If you listen to ASMR every night, then you shut up, Google Ads. Ends lyric redeemed hydrate. Oh, I've got a drink. Dear me. All right, you'll have to bear with me for a hydrate. I'm gonna get some water. we go targeted advertisement no I, I, all my um, ads are set to um, non-personalized <laughs> ah there you go hydrated There's new things, 2,500 to make count. <laughs> so to Mahoney, redeemed sing mode. So now I have to sing the words that I'm saying in a sort of tuneless way. <laughs> I can't laugh musically, but I'll try. I was born under a wandering star. Lee Marlin. <laughs> Paint your wagon. Lone Shark. Okay, all you have to do with the Lone Shark is tab them. See, there's... there's... Did I tell you you could... Behave. 
There's the garden exit for clan. <laughs> for Lament Lagoon. I mean, it's a lot more practical. Right. Just stay close. And we'll calm all the things. But Lone Shark. You see this red dotted path? Is where you will find one of the many um, Lone Sharks. So just keep looking for a shark and tabbing and you will find one. Eventually. Don't go down there though. Down there is bad. You don't have to kill it, you just have to target it. No, nope, that's Bionic Menace. Which I think calms. Yeah, it does. That's the lone shark. Over here. I right, just tab or mouse target on him. You get it? Come here, you little git. Yeah, I told you these things were nasty. Right, we're going to go out the way we came and run back. Baby shark. Uh, I No, because I'll get a copyright strike. Warner Brothers are absolute ball stewards when it comes to the slightest sniff of anything they think they own. Quite often they even claim music that isn't theirs. Like they did it to Scott, didn't they? They did it to um, that GS guy. Um, they claimed the Adonis music in his video. This music you can hear now. They tried to claim that as theirs <laughs> on Facebook because he multi-streams, doesn't he? Right, same swimming all the way there back to the guy again. Laughing my ass off. Call yourself a Kalos 2 fan. I'm effing loaded on channel points, bro. I highlight every message because I'm just that jacked. Try talking in chat again when you're a true fan. <laughs> Dear me. You're e-peening your fandom. My God. Oh, I'm still sp supposed to be singing, I think. I think you're supposed to sing for like a minute or something. La 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 la. I'm not really much of a singer. <laughs> but I'll try. Fiddly diddly dee dee die. <laughs> uh, you guys must be like masochists of some kind, you know. Yeah, I, I heard Baby Shark and I genuinely did not find it catchy. I found it instantly annoying and didn't really want to um, <laughs> hear it ever again. Incredible Bob. God, just looking at that swim is triggering me. I remember doing that with next to no IP in swimming. Ah, well, now uh, that's not a big issue. You see they're disabled. So you swim the speed you move. But yeah, it used to be so annoying. If you fell in the water off the bridge there, it took you like 20 minutes to swim back to shore. <laughs> like literally, it was so painful. Because you'd be running, how much IP do I have? Merc's a, you, you just want me to just guzzle a pint of water, do you?
Ugh. No, I can't drink water that that quickly. It's it's too cold. Drink cold drinks too quickly. Um, not good. You can drink lukewarm water very very quickly, and it's it's not going to affect you too badly. You're going to drown. Yeah, I felt like I was at one point there. <laughs> hydrate, 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 hydrate. Yeah, it's not it's not quite the the the, the Viking, you know, skull, 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 you know, necking a big mug of beer, which I if it was real ale I could do. Can't do it with lager, it's far too gassy. Vulpu, welcome to the stream. Skull, 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 skull. <laughs> Am I saying it right? Skull. Is it skull? Is it more of an uh oh sound? I don't know. I don't know my Nordic pronunciations. You're saying skull. You're missing that. How's that pronounced? Let's ask Google. Come on, Google Translate. You're so good at this stuff. All right, detect language. Swedish detected. English bowl. Skål. 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 It's more O sounding. And apparently the English is... Bowl. <laughs> Thank you, Google Translate. Oh, yeah. Skull, 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 skull. Yeah, it's like drinking, isn't it? Your mouse movement is like your guzzling beer. Skull, 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 glum, 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 glum. Like the OA in boat. Skull, 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 skull. You look like a fish when you say it. Skull, 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 skull. Slightly. No, I didn't go. Ah, uh, no, that was Google Auto Detect. That was uh, Google Auto Translate. Can you imagine Mrs. Callus walking by while he's making these noises? Oh, she knows what I'm on. She, she just laughs at me. She's not the least bit bothered. She's like, yes, I know, you're a complete nut job. Okay, you sit nice and pretty, and uh, I will do the rest. Because the dryad would, especially on shade, would knock you into next week, because he knocks you into the bloody water, which is super annoying. In my memory, you can virtually see him from here anyway. Possibly not. Yeah, when, I, when I'm not sure on the pronunciation of the word, I try and get Google to tell it to me. And sometimes it's terribly, terribly wrong. But it varies. I think that's the thing I want. Over there. Pro tip, calm tentacles. Calm your tentacles, careful what you say. Calm your tentacles, okay. I didn't even know they were calmable. You know, like, can you get to this underwater? You know, it's like, a, does that actually work over there, I wonder? I don't think I've ever gone down there. Mortizel, such a pro. Oh, yeah. Well, when I did this on Fatty, I got help.
Tentacle. There's a lot of tentacles. Are you sure about calming them? It doesn't seem worth it. <laughs> they don't hit. Anyway, welcome to the stream, people. So we had um, Mortis or Less sneaking on. Here again, 696. Welcome to the stream. Incredible Bob is now following. Thank you for the follow, Incredible Bob. Welcome on in. Oh, does it do like a nano drain and such as well? Looks like it. Right then, Amusionist, you should have got an update and a thing spawning in your inventory that looks remarkably like the thing you pick up in the Biomare dungeon. Yeah, so you just hand that straight to him. Uh, let's have a quick look at the crib sheet on the quest guide. So after done them. Yeah, we're right across the other end of the map. So once you've turned those over... Uh, talk to the one who gives warning. So you want to go city... Um, south again. City south again. Do I need to listen to the story? Uh, I can't remember. I don't think so. I think you can you can dodge it. I think you can actually dodge it. Um, if not, then you're just going to have to click all the way through it. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, so take Omni Garden Exit City South. And I'll come meet you there again. Yeah, south again. You know, the beacon makes this like a bazillion times easier to deal with. Yoko Moko. Oh, Yamoko. Welcome to the stream. Am I saying that right? Why is it Yomo? Yo Mo? Yeah, Yo Moko. Yeah. Why did I add extra syllables? I have no idea. Ends lyric. Rip FPS. Yes, ICC. Where frame rates go to die. Hiding from a spirit. There you go. If there's anything following, we'll be okay. FPS sometime soon, yeah, probably. Yeah, it was Dr. Tear Armour, wasn't it? I was looking at that then going, is that, is that tier 2? It is. <laughs> I need to keep watching AO streamers, it's terrible. But I remember so little about the game, Legacy of the Zan, I'm so lost on. Did a little bit of it before I stopped playing. Yeah, you know, if you ever come back to the game proper or you just want to come back for a bit of nostalgia, roll a brand new character, just play that character for a month or so. <laughs> Still calm from before. 
I love big long calms, don't you? Right, we don't need that. We farmed it last time, didn't we? Yeah, the, I saw, yeah, outside the garden. Come on. Not sure how far they would run to try and get over that tiny little gap on the floor, but yeah, it's shocking. should know roughly which way I'm running because you, you should have the mission marker for it. So the first thing he gets you to do is the herbs, which you've already got uh, the things to do. Only two levels to go. What, you're 218 or... Right, talk to this dude and pick up your... You get a nice NCU from this as well. Good for low levels. I've probably forgotten more about Anarchy Online than I actually know at this point, I think. 218 currently. Nice. Yeah, have you done your Dust Brigade quest? Got your, all your shiny nanos. And then you need your nano deck. You get the basic one from there and eventually upgrade it. Right, he's sending you to get his medicine, yeah? And there's a load of nasty rock things <laughs> on the way there that uh, actually are pretty good for farming parts for perenniums. Cheers, beer waiting. Oh, that reminds me, yes. Don't want to finish too late tonight. I want to go and get some beer. Just because. Why not? I may even have some. I'm not checked. Can always get more. I thought so. Wait. That's too far away. Even with this? Surely not. Right, we want to talk to this guy. He'll give you a something or other. And then you just add the bit from the Moloch to it. Or something. I can't remember now. I know you need the thing from the Moloch or whatever he's called. He'll give you the leaves, however he tells you you'll have to go hunt for the second ingredient, which we've already got. Kill it, combine them, gives you the soothing mixture. Yeah, and then we go scan some hecklers, which is another reason why I brought the uh, crack to do this, because I can calm them all. I haven't, it's why I've chosen to play the trader, is he hasn't done anything. Whereas I did some bits on my 220s, but I just can't remember. I'm sure it'll come back. Yeah, it is, it is like that. If you start right back at the beginning of the game, like roll a new character, um, it's easier to sort of pick up stuff as you go. It's that kind of deal, you know? It, it's, uh, it's cool, really. Especially if it's been quite a long gap, you know, if you've been like 10 years or more, you know, and everything's completely gone, you can't remember a damn thing except, you know, log in, maybe. <laughs> That's about it. Right, go say hi to your little friend. Oh, 
for the twentieth anniversary, they should give us a, a uh, make a, a nano drop that makes you look like a, a, a morph you can't uh, fight in. I'm just rebuffing myself. Don't worry. My way up. Oh, I've still got that nano can running for another eight minutes. Wow. Right, come on then. We go scan. What's the first heckler we want? Because I'll just be calming everything. Ew, hex. Oh yeah, we, we are. But you don't fight them, you scan them with the device. What's the first one you want? Did you give him his mixture? What, what mission have you got now? Did you combine the two things and give them to him? You need the um... No, you looted it. You looted it yesterday. Right, we're not on this bit again. Right, come on. You looted it yesterday. We killed one of those Moloch things and it dropped it. You looted it, or you should have done. I did tell you to loot it. <laughs> he did. Check your, in check your inventory for a thing that looks a bit like a light bulb. You should have it. And it, it combines together. Doesn't require any trade skills. You just combine them together, and then then trade it to him via dialogue. I T O Derry, welcome to the stream. He says, "Yes, you did loot it. <laughs> then look in your inventory." It's a no-drop item. Is it unique as well? Right, combine that with the herbs. And then that should give you soothing mixture. And then you trade that to him. I thought you'd done it, you see. That's why I was charging off to the hecklers. I think you get the NCU now as well, which is quite a nice NCU. Like, like only needs 800 comp lit or something. you probably be able to get it on as well. And at your level, you're probably as well with those, but don't forget to pick up the um, LE HUDs as well. Right, so it's now, he's given you like a little thing that looks like half of, um, like a broken one of them hood items you've got there, yeah? Yes, no, maybe. Okay. Go scan hecklers. Yeah, you, you pick it up and click it on a heck, which is why I'm going to be calming them all. Because they will splat you silly at your level.
Victor, what's the first one? Mugs94, welcome to the stream. Good evening to you. Right, what's your first on your mission list? Element. Let's have a look. Right. You'll have to get close to it, I think, for it to work. You should get the update music, I think. Right, pick it up out of your inventory and click it on it. It won't it won't uncalm. If it does, I'll just recalm it. Okay, then a harmony. Then what's the next one? Dreams. He's up there. That's a dreams if you need that. And then the last one isn't even a real heckler. Okay, what? Which one are you on now? Copy pasta. You need element now. There you go. There's your element. I'm gonna go and calm the other one now. Just in case. Element. Right here. Where the bouncing Atrox is. With the vivid green afro. Gollum. Okay, Gollum is not over here. Right. The dormant Gollum is not actually a killable heckler. Can't be attacked, nor, in fact, will it attack you. But getting to it is a little bit dodgy. There's a lot of mobs around. Keeping an eye on you, don't worry. <laughs> I can see you on my mini-map. Yeah, someone else has been along here because I didn't calm that. Yeah, someone's definitely been down here. Probably helping. What have they got on them? Same calm I've got. 220 crap. Right, little bit of a jump, see? Just here. And same again on the dude up there. Who cannot attack or be calmed or attacked or anything else. And the right question is, why the hell doesn't my crap have this quest done at 2.13? Well, you'd easily solo it now. I would suggest solo it and get yourself to 2.15. Because <laughs> there's a lot of XP for doing it as well. Yeah, you probably have out-leveled the Symbian. But, but, the Symbian is very useful for getting other stuff in. Because you've got Pistol, Intelligence, Sense and Psychic for 50. It actually came in useful for doing Alphas for me. So there you go. Worth having it. And you get a load of XP, so win-win. Yeah, it somebody it depends on the build because some of the stats you get in it cannot um, be gotten from any. Oh god, did you fall? Use your beacon. Using beacon is the sensible way. Yeah, it looked like you sort of jumped, then you bounced back, and then you disappeared, so, yeah. It happens. That's what beacons are for. <laughs> That's what pet warp is for, basically. Yeah. So, if you fall off there, I think you land... 
Where does it put you, Sab? Do you know? Wailing Wastes. Yeah, I thought it, you landed back on Rubicar. Use your beacon. <laughs> you landed that hunter guy. Yeah, use your beacon. Get back to the garden. If you zoom out on the map, it shows you the exact location. Mm. <laughs> Don't know. Zoom in one, and then what? Oh, you put the the marker. Dormant golem. Doesn't actually say. No. I'm not seeing it, but okay. I'm just running back. You can see it on my screen. I bloody couldn't. Yeah, go city south and I'll run back with you again. Make sure you're okay. Thankfully, 220 run speed is pretty quick. I was like, pretty calm, these. Seems we're just going to be... ...running right past them again. Exit from here again. There you go. Hug the wall. Run along. You should be alright from those spirits there. Occasionally you'll snag one. There you go. You can get... I think you're fast enough to outrun those, to be honest. As long as you don't stop halfway up those stairs or something like that. Because then they will just continually, like, wail on you. Right, so the mission you have now says go back to the Yutto, does it? Did it actually work on the Dormant Golem? It should have done. You should jump from Garden directly to that area. Possibly. I don't know, because I've never done it. So, I think that's what Savik's saying is it's a landing point when you jump off the garden. Yeah, well, I can't get to that, I can't even enter that garden to check. Which would be interesting, actually, but yeah. I don't have a paid Omni Toon to even uh, go checking it out for science. <laughs> That'd be quite cool, actually. I like doing silly things like that just to. But what if? <laughs> it's on my screen now. Oh, I in yeah. I was thinking the opposite thing. Like if you jumped off the edge. But Dijala Garden landing spot. Yeah, but it landed next to that. And whatever else is down there. Check where Clan Garden. Probably somewhere useless. I'll check it in a minute after the quest is done. We're almost all the way there now. There's only two stages left. 
hand this in, you get the NCU, then you go and run all the way north to the next Yutto, and he just sits tight with the uh, Yutto while I go kill things. Then we come all the way back again and kill the end boss. A Tannis Fixer, yes, I prefer the new engine visually. I think it looks a lot better. You know, with the proper shadows and reflective surfaces and all kinds of other goodness. It runs pretty... In Shadowlands, it runs really well. Where it falls down is if you're doing a big raid somewhere with a lot of bo lot of players, then it's pretty terrible. <laughs> or 12-man. Oh, my God. 12-man, it, it, as soon as the the final uh, Zan dude spawn, you know, the final boss in 12-man, in, uh, when he spawns, it just goes down to single figures, usually. Yeah, and Rome Red is just... forget it. I don't know if it works with um, DG Voodoo, because you can use DG Voodoo with the new client, but generally it just... It, it performs worse instead of better, so, you know. Yeah, it actually performs worse for me. I actually get lower frames a second, which is bizarre. Avoid LE missions and Mantis Queen with the new engine or you'll end up with nightmares. True, true. <laughs> the Mantis Queen is, like, real weird. Okay, we're going on a big, long run north. The big north run. We'll go this way. I don't think it's anything to do with audio that crashes it. It could be. Um, but I don't think it is. Yeah, do you know who else had the exact same thing? It was um, any and all of the spine tooth type mobs. They had too, literally too many bones. Uh, for the new engine to actually handle. So, you know, like the spine tooth dudes in, like, even in nascence, it just couldn't handle them. My audio always bugging and popping sometimes. Change your bit rate down to 16 bit. Generally, that will fix it. You know when you go, oh god, can I even show you? Uh, like that. Maybe I can. Uh, display capture, right, there you go. You know you've got your audio settings here. Right click, open sound settings, sound control panel, whatever your default device is. I've got all of that crap turned off. See there? Drop that from 24-bit, which it probably is at. Put it at 16-bit, uh, 4800, and I bet you the popping stops. AO had a crashing problem with uh, audio on... Certain sound cards when we were still all using sound cards. So I had a Creative Labs, um, whatever the hell it was, and it um, the, the, it just constantly crashed with Sound Blaster um, sound cards. If I used the onboard one, yeah. Well, the reason I got into the Sound Blaster cards um, back in the day was you could do MIDI, you could do musical stuff with them that you absolutely couldn't do with generic cards, which is what I was doing with computers in the beginning. So I always insisted on having one. Um, nowadays, onboard sound is more than sufficient for any regular PC user. Okay, 
swimmy swim time. Yeah, and I had to then use the onboard sound. And at the time, I had an AMD. Uh, no, it wasn't. Or was it? I think it was. I think it was an AMD Athlon. I think I had. But it had um, onboard sound, but it was nowhere near as good as the Sound Blaster card I had at the time. But AO worked fine with that. But yeah, that was a weird bug when that came out. But yeah, typically if you get popping and crackling on game audio especially, just turn your bitrate down from 24-bit to 16-bit. It's some sort of um, oversampling issue is what's actually called, but changing it down, you, you won't physically hear the difference in a game because the bitrate of the game is most likely no higher than 16-bit anyway. I use 24-bit because... Uh, because I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, the more bitrate you have, the more dynamic range you have. So 16-bit uh, CD, so 16-bit 44100 will give you, from the quietest sound to the loudest sound, is it 72 dB range? Which is fine for, like, most pop music and, you know, stuff like that. 24-bit will give you 0 to 130-something, which means the quietest sound is much quieter. So things like background hiss from preamps and microphones and things like that is much, much lower. Also, the um, intelligibility is a little better. And I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that being an issue at one time, so it's possible, it is possible, um, that that's what it is, yeah. We're going swimming again, by the way. We'll avoid these mobs, we don't need to fight them. Right, we are going to go swim in a straight line over there. And that should be the NPC. You should he should be asking you to go and talk to one who remembers the past. Should be the mission you have. Now, we're going to get to him with a bit of sneaky jumping, and you're going to stay there with him. Ah, we'll set it up to... Right, what sound card have you got? Is it an actual physical card, is it? Or is it on board? If it's a physical card, try it in a different uh, PCIe port. But I, I never have more than two speakers. You only have two ears. Um, and for music applications, unless you're mixing a movie or something, you, you wouldn't bother. You can do more to improve the sound of whatever you're listening to by improving the acoustic properties of the room you are listening to it in. Far more than spending money on gear, spend money on treating the room, making it acoustically dead. Urgh. Right, we're going to aim at this first unbroken sort of girder and jump. And you can land on the invisible end of it where I am. No, where I jump onto this thing, this bar. Aim at this. Stay, aim, aim straight. Where are you going? Over here. Oi! 
can you just do what I'm asking you to do? <laughs> I don't know what it looks like on your screen, but you're not lined up with it at all. If I jump off, I land here. So literally, line yourself up with it, and you'll land on it. It's a leap of faith. You keep going off to the right. There you go. See? There's an invisible wall up here that you can get on top of. See? Can you trust me on things? He's a rebel. He's <laughs> jumping away from it. That can be lag as well. It looks like one thing on my screen, but it's another thing on their screen. It is a strange area, but it saves you having to get all the way up this hill on the other side, which is a nightmare because all these dryads are there. He mistrusts authority figures. I am not an authority figure, thank you very much. Right, here's the chap you talk to, and I want you to stay with him. Okay. And then call out which mobs need killing. But you're to stay with him and tell me when he has given you a go kill things for me mission. Bad lag due to working on lines. Yeah, that'll screw your bloody packet loss and everything else to bits. Yes, you can literally get all the way over there if you so choose. Right, has he given you a new mission? Or is he still yabbering on about the Zan? Kill four dumb ermites, okay. They're somewhere near here, aren't they? No mermaids, I thought it was. Ermites are the only hard one, really, because you can't see the buggers. And they move around quite a bit as well. I don't know it would be all of them. <laughs> yeah. Looking at how pretty the new engine is has made me re-download it. Yes, I'm an influencer. I have influenza, apparently. See, this is dead easy for a 220 to help you out with. Because nothing aggros them. But yeah, I think it is. Um, all right, it's not 100% stable, um, but it's with a few tweaks, it's pretty good. Helps a lot to be ranged if they do, yeah, you know, especially if they do start running off. And then the mobs run away. Yeah, well, the pets will chase them. And with the the buffs and stuff they've got now, they can marmalize them. Are we still on... You're on Dryads. What's the exact name? Brisk? Or what? Is it Brisk dry? I'll look on the thing. Brisk Dryads. Are you brisk? You go nowhere, you die. White dryad, white dryad, white dryad, white dryad, white dryad, come on. 
Your white dryads. Have a twenty seven minute route. <laughs> Shackles of obedience. There is no running away for you, my friend. Shackles. Oh, he, he resisted it. My God. And again? What the hell? Unless it's just instantly breaking. Are we still on Brisk? I've lost count. You're on Maladors now, okay. I think they're, they stay aggro. There's only a few that actually run away. Alright, let's see. Shackles of obedience. It amazes me when they resist it, though. Yet yeah, you can you can cast it on dungeon bosses. Tab one. I ah, see, you thought you were running away from the pets and instead you ran toward me. And a resist is weird. Yes, it's very weird. Okay, was that four? That felt like four of them. One more Malador. Okay. I'll find one now. There's plenty of them. So to Mahoney, for anyone interested, there may be a clan roleplay opportunity. Omni intern ops single signals intelligent hostile comlink signal detected. Signal identified. Silverstone. Right, once you've turned it in, he Yutto friend should send you to the final uh, Yutto you speak to in Adonis. Uh, Calamity 5, so we're going back to uh, the garden. It's a trap! <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Now then... Uh, go get to the right garden. Yeah, so once you've handed in with him, uh, warp, or beacon, back to garden and get ready to exit city south. Yeah, just beacon back because he's at the opposite end of the map. Now you use your beacon or whatever it is you're using to get back to the garden. Yeah. 
Yeah, he should be safe enough. I'm nearly there, so if anything aggro's, I'll just either kick its bottom or calm it. There you go. He's getting a bit close. Oh, you swine. Aggressive little things, aren't they, the spirits? Even when they're grey, they still want to fight you. Right, I would suggest, because you are level... What level are you? 138. Don't come up on the platform. Just in case. Yeah. Cars, we haven't got a dock if you do get into trouble up there. And if you misstep into the fire, or you get hit by the boss, there's a good chance he'll kill you. So you're going to stay by the Yutto again, and you'll have to just watch the final boss fight um, <laughs> on screen. Where have you gone? I has lost you. Oh, you lagged again. Yeah, I definitely stay with the Yutto. You're safe with the Yutto. There we go. Do not fall down the plug hole or you will be back on Rubicar. There you go. Calamity 5. Have a word. When you say you're ready, a portal will appear. Don't use it. There's every chance that it'll, the boss will kill you. Or that if you misstep or lag, the fire will kill you. So, yeah. Twenty-five frames in ICC on new engine. Yay! ICC, where frame rates go to die. <laughs> Right, we're in the same playfield, believe it or not. Where I am, if you're at all interested, is right by the bridge over to Dark Ruins. And the only way up here, as far as I know, is um, the quest. I don't think you can get up here otherwise. Have some dead man walking. Behind and fight him. <laughs> Try and keep the pets out of the fire. Not on an Engi, I can't heal them. Except with like first aids and such. He is relatively easy to kill on a 220 of any description. There's a heal for the bot. Is there? For crap. It has never healed him with anything. 
There definitely is for Engi. That's why Engi's can solo so much of the game now. Right, you should have got your update. And I am going to jump off this pretty place. Is the audio... No, it's exactly the same. Audio is no different. Oh, what am I bothering about? They're not going to chase me all the way down there. Is the audio better? It should not be. Um, there you go. Syndicate Brain of Guile. Get it in. Strength, Agility, Sense. Yeah, the sound files in the game folder are ex identical for the audio. They're, they're literally WAV files. Quite low bitrate uh, WAV files. I'd like it if they released some high, like, high quality flak or something. Then it would improve it, but yeah. They're lower quality than the audio I, I record with. But they were trying to get the whole thing to fit on a CD. And there's enough... If they were standard size audio files, like 16-bit, 44, 100... Um, <laughs> you would need a CD just for the audio. It's in. There you go. Oh, yeah. If you, you see now, I've got 51. If I click out, out of the window, the game idles. And then I click back. And it goes back up again. Uh, you would on good enough speakers or mon or earphones, yeah. You can hear it. Well, I can. It's it's hard to explain. It. Um, you can hear distortion at around. You know, it's right at the high end that you hear it. The fastest frequencies, because the the faster the frequency or higher the frequency the less of the actual sound is sampled if you think about it uh, how can I vi get the, do a visual explanation for you I'll try and do it now so very quickly chat we're going to do <laughs> sound lessons so uh, open recent right there we go so here's a stereo sound recording of me there you go now then if we zoom in what am I saying there there you go that's Ian we zoom in and we zoom in so this is recorded at 24 bit 48 hertz like that now if we keep zooming in, each one of those dots is how many times something is sampled, okay? That's how zoomed in we are now. It would take like an hour to scroll across if I, if I kept it this zoomed in. It will even go down to each one of these is a bit. And the line is not what it's seeing. It's just saying the sound was here, here, here. So your bit rate is how many of these lines are being used. See, you can only... You can't move this. You can only do that, because the file... Yeah? Now, with a higher frequency, like... There you go, that's... That's the sir. So that's a higher frequency, yeah? If we zoom in on that, because it's moving up and down a lot more quickly, a lot more change has happened for every time it's been sampled. Do you see what I mean? This point has moved 
much further for every time it can be sampled so more and more detail is lost in the high end with lower sample rates and I can hear it because it manifests like distortion yeah You can do all sorts with the sound in in this stuff. And so on and so forth. So when we go back to the very beginning, we'll just do... See that clip there? See, it got all the way to the top and died. So we can fix that. I can go to some VSTs I've got and stuff. So I can start creating a rack of effects to put on it. Uh, so I can go the vocal strip, or I can go... What should we put on? VST3, let's go for some... Um, let's go do some mastering. And ozone 8 probably crash the bloody stream trying to do this so got customs there and there should be some presets so let's see how we can change that all-purpose mastering uh, right CD mastering now see our sound now yeah so it's raising the top end it's adding all kinds of compression it's maximizing signal all of that is to make it sound better for cd but i wouldn't do that because it sounds completely unnatural on somebody just speaking anyway so there you go quick bit of um, insight on audio whereas i think actually no let's i'll show you now so that's the sample rate i use if i uh, open up a sound file from the game and this will be from the new engine was it in recent I was doing some? No, okay. So I'm going to import a file. So we're going to go to... So here, this is the new engine. Sound. We'll go to music, environment, desert. open that and the sample rate on this is much smaller um, it's 44 100 Hertz stereo so that's got a lot of mixed tonality in it Let me zoom in on here like so add audio source in OBS why could you not hear that you should have it was showing us coming through you couldn't hear that at all It should have. It's playing through the same... We're listening to Adonis whale migration. <laughs> you could hear it, but low volume. Right, OK. Um, you've got the game running in the background as well, don't forget. So there you go. Grats, Amusionist, you now have a reasonably good head implant for a while. And we're done. We're done with Adonis. And I think we're done at 8 o'clock. It's boobal bath time, I believe. <laughs> Sav will tell you. Yeah, just, just use the garden and, and head back to wherever. Or we'll go back to Sheol and start the quest there. And absolutely no, I'm not going to help. I hate those quests. <laughs>
Yeah, it's no problem. I'll help um, Enns Lerick out another night. But uh, we we were already like four stages ahead of Enns Lerick, so it was kind of like, um, well, <laughs> I'm not repeating four stages again. No, no. It just made the stream much too long and kind of boring. All right, it's gun park fatty back on Ruba car. Oh, there was a question about... Uh, are you off to bed? Good night, Savik. Always a pleasure to see you. Um, there was a question about the jaggies on the, the old engine. Oh, crap. Still had my, <laughs> still had the aura running. I'll try and explain it best I can. But the new engine definitely looks better. -er. Right. So if I log off completely and log back in on the. Um, on the old engine <clears throat> all I've done on mine is just add SMAA and the rest is exactly what's um, in in the video actually Okay, so AO Vanilla. Eventually. Log the dock in, why not? So, not the best time of day to come and do this, but yeah, so there we go. But I don't have all those jaggies because I have SMAA on. If I turn it off. There's a few, they're not terrible though. But I do I do like having SMAA on. Just gets rid of any lines along walls when you look at them at oblique angles and such. Are you getting lots of noise in the grass and things like that? Because it kind of looks pretty n sort of normal here. Just a little clearer. When you go back through the video for that, you'll see that I enabled um, a tick box that says disable MIP mapping. It's something that was only ever used on old games like this one. And it could be that that's causing it. I turned that off because it was giving me low textures and such. Yeah, if you've got sharpening ramped all the way up on your monitor, it will it will do that. Go to if you want to get your monitor calibrated somewhat correctly. Um, uh, where are they? Lagon, Lagon, where are you? Yeah, there you go. Absolutely, one of the best free sites to calibrate a monitor with. You'll, you'll get so much more accuracy on your... I know I had digital vibrance at 75%. No, digital vibrancy is... You, like, my God, the game must look um, saturated to you. 
like unbelievably so. Um, digital vibrance, it, it's like micro contrast and saturation digital vibrance. Just, just leave that on normal. I'm outputting the game in 10-bit uh, colour, but obviously that's been crushed by uh, the stream compression. But there is um, quite a bit. We can see there's no noise in the grass anywhere or anything. I do have NVIDIA's own sharpening because it works better than anything I could find in the reshade. So even, you know, everything's like nice and clear, tack sharp. Make out the little prongs on the fork there. Well, I can. I, hopefully you can see that on the stream. The scales on its head. I'm trying to find somewhere with daylight, so I'm going to go to a neutral backyard. Because they're, like, quite good ones. There you go, so we've got more light here. Usually you can see noise on things like these tiles on the floor. And definitely you can see them... Uh, when you go into the junkyard, places like that, because this is always permanent sunshine in here. <laughs> so all the ground textures, etc. So the in-game settings I'm using is pretty much just put everything across. Ground render mode, shadows, texture full, 32-bit, ground quality high, view distance and character distance at max, effects, everything on. I've got fog off at the moment, but you can doesn't make a lot of difference in a backyard uh, an environment everything switched on that's it I still get like can't quite decide if it's daylight or not there like, I can see like a tiny bit of noise in the grass as I'm running that little bit of aliasing but it's not terrible I mean it it kind of blurs and I'm at 75 Hertz here feels very smooth and this is you know not doing anything what's my Nvidia control panel doing let's have a quick look right and there we go so there you go 60 Hertz 10 bit color full range I'm on 60 oh, never mind um, Manage 3D settings. Everything's on. The only thing I change on global is. Yeah, power management I set to max. So on here I've got uh, image sharpening. So I've switched it on. Ignore film grain to one and sharpen at default. That's it. Uh, ambient inclusion I switched that on because I was experimenting with shaders and then all the rest threaded optimization on vertical sync sent to off and that's it try linear optimization is on texture filtering is on quality uh, allow all these are kind of default for when you're using unigen valley demo and associate anarchy online with it and yeah that's it ain't nothing else to it And except maybe do 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 where's it gone? Yep. So hopefully you can see this as well. You can okay, can you read it? So for the old engine which is there, uh, output best available keep aspect ratio capture mouse glide we're not using direct x dg voodoo 3d accelerated card disable mip mapping force anisotropic um, 16 
fast mid memory access and then resolution unforced and VRAM just set to the highest it would go to. That's it, that's all I'm doing. And then on the reshade, just that, SMAA, the default one. We're having weather, apparently. <laughs> the flashing you're seeing is weather is happening. A uh, Ryzen CPU shouldn't affect um, anything, really. Should still be quite happy to play with a NVIDIA graphics card. I, had, I was set up that way for a long time. I had a full AMD system for a little while, but it was back in the old days of Radeon, years ago. It was the Radeon when they were ATI. Yeah, ATI Radeon, what was it, a 128 or something? Oh my god, you could fry a bloody joint. You could fry a Christmas turkey on it. It was that hot. Um, I ended up sending it to Australia <laughs> to Kingster, of all people, because his graphics card died. So I just sent it to him. said, you can have that. I'm getting something else. And I got a, I bought a GeForce 3, I think it was, off a mate of mine. Um, yeah, and it was a big improvement, so... There you go. Right, let's see whom else is streaming. Let's have a look. So we do a quick search for Anna K online. Who have we got? There's me. Eridonis. Do I know that? Do we know Eridonis? That name seems familiar. Hector, George Glass, wandering around lost inside of Omni Forest in 2001, looking for dark. <laughs> I think he's just stood there. Uh, I think that was a, like his joke. Eridonis, I don't know, Let's. he says it's English. I'm just going to just see if he's talking or... Oh, God, ads. I've got ads. Yes, I'm sure it's a great game. Can I not watch a 30-minute advert for it? I don't think my system could run that uh, village Resident Evil thing. It looks uh, like pretty advanced graphics on there to me. Resident Evil 8? Inscribed into village. Very clever. All right, is he talking to anyone? Playing music. Not a fan of that. Uh, <laughs> Hector, Dirt Poor Chris, and George Glass. Oh, wait a minute, what about good old Chayification? What about Gopher? It's Gopher. A thing go for his live oh he's playing murder on eridonis or something you want to go to gopher let's rage you can't rage yourself literally cannot rage yourself <laughs> one night i tried to uh raid dark and it dark had just raided me at the exact same time and we went where did everyone go then we can't figure it out <laughs> it's kind of nuts What's Che doing? He's... Ooh, I don't know. He's, he's, he's playing a shooty-shoot game. Murderer on Eridonis or... Shooty-shoot game. Yay. Because Che will just get frustrated at not having played a game like that for a while and dying. <laughs> raid good old Che. There we go. I'm going to raid Che. He's a nice guy. Always talks to his audience. And he's got loads of bit rewards and stuff. So we'll go raid them. And I will say, I will see you on Saturday, I think. Probably on the Keeper. Excuse me, for Hodor. And I'll just say, bye for now.